Hey there, for today's quick tips, let's talk about limitations and how they can help us in our practice routine. Practice and music in general can be quite overwhelming. What topic do we need to tackle? What to practice next? And how do we prioritize between them? Limiting ourselves can help us in two areas here. For once, we can focus on more specific topics and make practice at the same time a lot more interesting through a bigger variety of exercises. You can compare it to learn how to cook a new dish. You go through the individual sections and learn how to prepare the ingredients first before combining them later on. Music is similar in that regard. Limiting one aspect of your practice can ease the steep learning curve a lot. I'll give you a few examples. If you're having trouble improvising because you always stay in the same box shape on your fretboard, Try limiting the number of strings you play on. Playing only on the top or bottom strings will help you play more vertically and get you out of the box shape automatically. You want to practice a new scale? Then limit the rhythmic complexity you play it with and only play 8 notes. Other way around. You want to practice a new rhythm? Then limit the melodic context and play it on a single note. Or you want to learn a new chord melody arrangement? Then just limit the number of frets you're allowed to use and it forces you to think a bit more about the harmonic context. I hope this was helpful and you can see now why limit limitations aren't always a bad thing but actually can be quite helpful in our practice routine and I wish you a happy practice!